you are officially welcome to the cleanest and most beautiful village in Africa. There are no mosquitoes in this village and I am going to explain why in this video. I wanted to know if they formigate the whole place, you know, because we can obviously the people here are rich. There is no poor person here. So you can judge by the buildings, you can see the infrastructure, you can see. So I wanted to know if, you know, the community came together and said, okay, we want to formigate. So as we go into the video, we're going to get to that. By the way, hello, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Lillian and this video is coming to you live from Kweu Mountains here at the eastern region of Ghana. Officially, this is the most beautiful, cleanest village in the world right now. I'm going to call it a village for reasons. I'm going to explain that in the video. But meanwhile, don't forget to like this video. Comment down below if you're in agreement or if you don't agree, it's okay. I understand. Maybe you've seen the one that I haven't seen that looks prettier and cleaner than this. But for me, this until I see the one that beats this, this remains the cleanest and most beautiful village in Africa no mosquitoes remember so like i said please if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscription button turn on the bell and stay tuned for more videos so we're starting out from here and i was amazed last year a lot of people requested i come here but i had too much on my plates i couldn't make it and then this year again a lot of people keep saying go to a bow go to a bow so what really happened is this morning i woke up and i dropped a video about you know from Obomeng, and a subscriber touched my heart with the comments that he left saying i have been begging you to go to a bow you refuse a bow is very beautiful and that's where i'm from please go there lillian okay i'm like okay i'm gonna make it i had a lot that I was doing i said okay i must come so here i am and this is what i can see so when i got here i was overwhelmed i have this um i'm a very emotional person when i don't expect to see something and i get there especially when it's pleasant i turn you know i become emotional so this place got me singing praises to god all through the entire time i mute the audio please let it be like that okay i don't even want to bore you with all my screaming you know so i wanted to know i did a lot of things in this video i wanted to know the cost of living especially house rents and i wanted to know if they have private schools here and uh, i wanted to know a lot of things here guys as we go we get to that because in this video i went house hunting as well as um you know asking the locals if they do sell land to foreigners please i am not inviting anyone to come here all right and live here okay if <laughs> i don't even know i don't want this place to be tempered with i love it as it is and i want to come back here and see it like this the peace that exists here is priceless so but of course genuine people only are invited if you want to so when i ask if they do sell land to foreigners who are you know with good intention and they said yes they do and i wanted to know the cost of living like house rents i was told some amount that i'm not even going to see before the whole accra will be empty and accra people hold me accountable for that because if i tell you how much it costs to live here to rent a solid apartment you can see yourself there are no shaky shaky over here you can see you can see right so the amount it costs to live here if i say it many people are going to empty the whole accra and come feel here and no please leave this place for me like this even if i don't end up living here i'll be living here in my dreams okay okay that's a joke anyway but seriously this place is absolutely beautiful and i think that it should be allowed to continue like this strictly the indigenous um so they'll be able to take care of their you know community like this i call it a village because to some people this is their last stop on it even if they go to the sky they return this is where it ends for them they're not going it's not like there's another place else. Okay, my wife, pack the kids, lock the door, let's go to the village. You know, to some people, this is their all. This is where it ends for them. 
after here nowhere else okay after here except they're going to other people's places maybe london uk accra or other communities but this is where they are originally from this place found them do you understand yeah the beauty they beautify but this place found them all right so it is a village in that sense when it comes to the look of it like looking at it is not a village this place is developing rapidly rapidly i'm sure you guys to drive through because there is no how i am going to be able to do it all especially with the fact that i do not use a drone for now so this is me driving through we're going to stop at some point and go house hunting and do a lot of questioning which everything is muted because charlie editing this video the devil came showed up but god showed up at the end of the day and we are here with it so guys this place is what you're seeing i'm filming with my camera and this is what my lens can get this place is hands down the most beautiful village i repeat i have explained the reason i tacked it i call this place a village all right to some people this is their all this is their stop final stop do you get it it's beautiful but it's a village this is supposed to just be like a village with touch house if they didn't want to put it like this okay or if they could not afford to put it like this it could have been a village so but it is like this so this is like a city look it looks like a city okay the reason i tacked it a village i have explained all right so let's talk about the um, <laughs> accommodation here so where i go here i became confused so i walked into some of these houses i wanted to know if they have houses for rent and um yeah we talked about that and i won't talk about i won't put that information out here okay for everyone to see but absolutely this place is, a, is, a, is amazing. It was one of the mamas here that told me there are no mosquitoes here. And it's not like I ask. She just told me there are no mosquitoes. When I went to hunt for your house, she told me, oh, there are no mosquitoes here. And I wanted to know why the death for me gates. And she said, no, because of the weather, um, it makes it mosquitoes do not survive here. So if you live in Accra, you know what? all right accra is a city that uh, comes to mind when it comes to mosquito we have a lot of them in a big city like that so i was told that there are no mosquitoes here and it, it was a thing of surprise to me so i have been in kweu for some time and truly as a matter of fact i've not been beaten by mosquitoes so i never really thought about it i was like maybe it's just because i've been busy you know going in and out so that's why so uh, i'm glad today someone brought it up and then she draws my attention to it i'm so super duper excited to have made it to this place in my lifetime i want to apologize to all my subscribers for being stubborn when you told me to come and i couldn't make it it's not like i wanted to ignore you like last year i had a lot i was doing and i ran out of money because i didn't know where i was going as a matter of fact i didn't see a lot of the content about this place and what to expect type of videos like we have a lot of them right now coming to kweu is a lot easier these days than before if you are not or if you've never been here before you see a lot of information online which is a very good thing during the time i came these informations were not much so i came without preparing so i got broke and i i went back without doing a lot of things i'm glad to have come back i praise god for the opportunity to come back and retell some of the stories that i couldn't finish telling last year so this is what it looks like yeah, i just came out of a compound which I won't be pointing at i came out and i asked uh I, I talked about house rents and all that so that is that right now this is it let's walk to a store and get something i want to patronize this place in my lifetime i want it to be on record in my head in my conscience that i spent a few cents here in this village okay I have told you why I call, I'm calling it a village, okay? With all due respect, please don't misunderstand me. So 
let's walk to a store i, I cannot deal charlie i can't deal if you know me you know i can't deal this is this is i can't deal for me it's beautiful can't you see this is obvious that everybody here is rich okay this got me thinking have there ever been a time that um ghana is broke i don't understand <laughs> how come about all this like i don't get it that is a very sensitive topic right but seriously they have been proved that ghana may never have been broke before in the past maybe it's just uh mismanagement or something that happened how can it how can this be possible in a continent or a country that is broke this is these houses are not for business okay these are people building their houses and just building it there and another observation here is the fact that you see aged people living in a very beautiful home smart move this you see all these houses majority of these houses are empty people are not living in it and the ones you find people living in they are maybe aged you know or you know just mostly aged people people build these houses for their parents people build here and just leave it so anytime they come back home like i said to some people this is the last stop on head this is their or this is their home on heads do you understand this is their true home this is where their dust was formed from that is what i mean so this place is insanely beautiful and you my friends my viewers can see i can't i don't know what to say the drivers you know i took two different vehicles the one that took me in and the one that brought me back uh the good thing is i exchanged number with all of them they were laughing the entire time you know i've talked about Kweu people and um how friendly they are okay please i'm not saying everyone here is an angel okay please in case you want to do business still follow your instincts but i'm talking about my own experience the people here are super friendly especially the public dry, um, bus i mean a car men they are extremely friendly coming back that one got me laughing the entire time because he keep pointing okay do you want to take here they just make it so easy for you to film so easy nobody asks you what are you doing there what are you doing with the camera at some point i was worried maybe they would think i'm a spy coming to spy this place and take it back for dangerous report or something but nobody nobody even moved nobody nobody shaked this is incredible good behavior good environment good people i am impressed okay this is no hype okay this is hands down reality and this is what my lens could bring you when i get better gasket maybe i'll do better job but for now this is all i can humbly submit to you my friends i hope that i made you proud i hope that you love this place this place is obo kweu here at the eastern region of ghana okay so my part is to deliver and uh you know pass the message out here for you guys to see that is my job so yours is to enjoy the view and give your opinion down there at the comment section all right so with all that being said your get truth is dry because words cannot begin to explain how i feel right now so this is me going back to prayer yes, so okay i've been struggling to pronounce that since morning it's been a struggle so i'm going back to Tafo. so this is the road i'm taking they have many communities here at the mountain top i'm going to see how i can mention some that I could remember like um um oh my god let me leave it because i'm i, I think i'm remembering just three and it's unfair <laughs> so let's keep going let's keep going let's keep going it got to that part where i wanted to know if it is a hotel because it's too much they said it's not a hotel so how did you guys came up with this if you're from here my friend you are rich oh you are rich comment down below now let me know you you know you know what i mean <laughs> everyone from here is rich everybody from here nobody can tell me nothing look did you see a bad house no and the ones i'm showing you here at the roadside these ones have been here for a couple of years for decades you know the newly built houses are behind 
you know now this new generation you know how they build their houses massive behind this one so these are the roadside on when it was just you know then right now this place is massively developed i am super proud that i made it here so guys i rest my case in this place eh i hope that i did made you proud okay so if you're from here come and be my friend or you know that kind of thing so i can always come back here all right oh my god <laughs> okay so thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe guys can i know why you have not joined my membership join my membership i almost put this video on my membership remain small it's not for god if not for god that put this video on my memberships just imagine videos like this you know next time i may take them straight to membership so please support your girl by joining her memberships all right is it memberships all right which of them anyone so just look at this place i wanted to know how what what is this is a this is like a villa this is a, like like a villa a king and the people most of them don't live here so this is the most beautiful village in africa thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.